Last month, me and this native Brazilian girl finally sealed the deal. We'd met a couple of times, she was living in London and I was traveling there. And then that third time, we ended up in my hotel room. We didn't sleep. She played my favorite song, blink 32s I Miss You, and I'm pretty sure I fell in love. Like seriously, one of those perfect, perfect situations. The problem is, that was her last night in the country, and now she's the better part of 6,000 miles away. What do I do? Well, one of the best things about last night in the country sex, uh, just like last day of summer camp sex and night before lethal injection sex, is the finality of the thing. He can throw everything he got at it, because it's not going to happen again. I mean, even the song she put on complements the whole theme of the night. You're only a voice inside my head? That probably should have been a red flag for you when she popped it in the iPod dock. I'm assuming. Your whole night for me is Wes Anderson's Hotel Chevalier. So the first thing that I would do, if I were you, is an honest emotional assessment of all of your feelings outside of the context of that whole heady emotional milieu in the hotel room. You know, did you really love her, or did you just love the idea of her? Does she love you, or was she just allowing herself to love freely for a couple of hours without consequences just to see what it felt like? Does it feel like we're writing our first novel together right now? That might be what's happening. And then after you've taken emotional inventory, go to Brazil, obviously. And I mean do that regardless of what you decide about this particular girl. If the love is real, find her. And if it's not, fuck her. There are plenty of other hot girls you can have sex with in hotel rooms while you listen to arty punk rock. I'm pretty sure Carnival even has an option in one of their cruises.